Hello, Namaskar. This is First Post and you're watching Vantage with me, Palki Sharma. Bombs for bailouts. That's our lead story for tonight. The United States is a self-proclaimed guardian of democracy, but not when it comes to Pakistan, it seems. Washington could be dictating Islamabad's foreign policy by buying off the generals. A damning report has come to light. It says the US got the IMF bailout for Pakistan, and it did so after buying Pakistani arms for Kiev. These revelations have brought the focus back on Imran Khan. Did America meddle in Pakistan's flailing democracy? We'll get you the full story tonight. Also on the show, China is investing more than $6 billion in Afghanistan. It has bought access to some lucrative mines. America has lost an F-35 jet, and they're asking people to help find it. In Africa, three coup hit nations have signed a security pact. What does it mean for the continent? And if you're entering the job market, we have news for you. Your paycheck may not meet your expectations. We will tell you why the headlines first. Five Americans jailed for years in Iran have finally been freed. They're flying back to the U.S. as part of a prisoner swap deal with Iran. Qatar is the mediator as Washington and Tehran do not have diplomatic relations. Six billion dollars of frozen Iranian assets have also been transferred as part of this deal. Georgia accuses a Ukrainian official of plotting a coup. Tbilisi claims the official is planning mass unrest to overthrow their government. This is the latest instance of escalating tensions between the ex-Soviet countries. Ukraine has accused Georgia of cooperating with the Kremlin. China's top diplomat Wang Yi is in Moscow. He meets the Russian foreign minister. Over the weekend, he held talks with a U.S. national security advisor. Last month, Chinese defense minister Li Shangfu visited Russia, the one who's gone missing now. Beijing and Moscow have grown closer as ties with the West have deteriorated for both. In India, a five-day special session of parliament begins. Prime Minister Narendra Modi pays a tribute to the old parliament building in his last speech there. From tomorrow, house proceedings will be held in the new building. Is Saudi Arabia wooing Elon Musk? Reports say Riyadh is in talks with Tesla to set up a manufacturing facility in the kingdom. Musk seems to be in high demand. The Turkish president also wants the Tesla CEO to build a vehicle factory in Turkey. And Thailand urged to halt crop burning as air pollution spikes. The rising pollution this year has left more than 2 million needing medical treatment. Capital Bangkok and Chiang Mai are among the most polluted cities in the world. People have been asked to stay indoors and work from home. 